Hello, welcome back to our Tobes Dev Chunks. In the previous video, we were going to program this pyramid and we laid down our foundation on how to distribute the different sections of these pattern. So let's not waste time and just run into our IDE and start programming. As I told you, I will be using Welp IntelliJ IDEA for this purpose. I will walk you through a few of the basic fundamentals of how to create or how to set up a project in an IDE that is specially IntelliJ IDEA here and how to start with programming and I'll point out a few of the basic differences in programming with a text editor and IDE. So let's just start. You can see here create new project just click here and I will say what project is a project is basically a logical connection of all the files that belong to the same architecture for example if you're creating a calculator app since the calculator has multiple functions like addition subtraction division so all these things are interrelated to the same architecture that is calculator so a package will keep all those things like a box and it will wrap those things inside it to make it easy to find so here is something to select which kind of project are you going to build i'm just going to select java and click next then it asks me which type of app are you building we are generally working with command line app so i choose command line then it's asking me to give your project a name let's give us a name of pyramids okay so this is the location of a pyramid i'm using java 1.8 you can use any java according to you these are few of the other things you do not need to edit any of these just click finish now the ID is building a project and you see a screen here here's a tip you can just close this dialog and you see here our project has been built and this project has few directories these are the directories that is used by the ID to do the thing that it does the main source code of a program goes into this src folder but it's still empty so in order to create a new class there are several ways of doing it one is to right click here and go into new java class the other way is to click on file new and java class You need to give it a name of pyramid underscore seven. You do not need to define the extension here because it automatically knows that it, we are creating a Java class. Click OK. And here is our class that's created. See, it automatically detects that who is the author and it gives a public class with the name we provided it. So these are few of the small things that ID can do so let's start now this is the main class since every program in Java should start with a public function we are going to write public function now I'm going to show you two things let's just do it first public static void main string args well this is our main function oops so this is our main function the main function represents similar to see the gateway to the start option of a program a program will start executing in the main function but you see this is not a text editor so we can do few things that an ID provides I'll show you it show it to you like 
I write PSVM. After writing PSVM, I hold down the control key and print spacebar. And you see it automatically printed out that public static void main string ARGS for me. This is called code completion. Isn't it wonderful? So there are many things that you can do like we can write system dot out dot print ln or we can just do s out and hold down the control and press spacebar and it gives me an option to choose which kind of s out and here you see it says print a string to system out printer then just press enter and it automatically prints the same so these are few of the advantages that you get over using an IDE. So this is a main function. Now let's not waste time and quickly look into what we need to program. So here is the image of what we need to program. So let's start. As I told you, this is the first section of the program. And this is the second section of the program. So first of all, in a modular pattern, we first define two outer loops for these sections. This section has one, two, three, four, five rows. And this section has one, two, three, four rows. So let's start. We need two four loops. Four you see here there are lots of lots of stuff so for i equals to zero i starts with zero and goes less than equal to five for the first two this is the first section of the loop then we need another for loop and this time i starts with zero and goes up to four because there are four rows and this is the second section of the program now since we have created our rules now what we need to do first is to accommodate these spaces in the green triangle so here we see one two three four in the first row we have four spaces then the second row we have three spaces so how can we calculate that as we have learned earlier if we see when i equals to 0 it goes all through from 0 1 2 3 up to 4 excluding 4 in the second row it goes when i equals to 1 it goes from 1 2 3 so every time it goes from i to 4 excluding 4 so that is our loop so that is what we use we create another for loop for spaces and here s equals to i because it starts with i and it goes up to 4 and it never includes 4 and we print space that's it that's a first loop now after we have printed these spaces we need to take care of this star triangle so let's look at it in the first row we have one star then we have second row we have two stars third row we have three stars so when i equals to zero there is one star when i equals to one there is two stars so what it actually does is it starts from 0 and goes up to i including i do you get that like i equals to 0 it goes up to 0 including 0 runs one time i equals to 1 0 1 i equals to 2 0 2 0 1 2 so that's it we got a loop for loop we have j starting from 0 going up 
to i but equal to and printing out the stars so we print out the stars that's it now since we have covered this now we need to take care of this blue triangle now here you see this first row has already been printed with a star so we need to start printing stars from the second row how can that be done it's simple we start the loop from one so i equals to zero does not consider the loop i equals to one starts from here now you see i equals to one starts from one goes up to one starts from one goes up to two so it starts from one each time and goes up to the value of i so that's it we got our loop we start a for loop and we print j starting from one this time and it goes up to i but equal to and what do we do we print stars so we're printing the star that's it now since this is done we don't need to take care of these spaces because they don't matter in the program they will not be visible anyway so that's it we have created this first section of our pyramid let's just check out if the program runs so i'm going to save it my file save all and i'm going to run it using run command you see how easy it is you don't have to do anything any typing this is making the program it is doing everything it needs to do all in itself but what's this there is an error what's the error you see everything is being printed like in the next line but we don't need to do that why is that happening because in Java this LN represents new line we don't need new lines everywhere so we delete these LNs and these LNs are deleted but we need to change the line after all these three loops have been completed so after this we print a blank line system of print LN we save the file and we again run the program see so simple and here you see we have our program running so now let's get back now since you know this portion has already been taken care of which does not need to include in the second half of the pyramid or the pattern we are going to print so the loop has four rows as we defined but now you see first we need to take care of these spaces in orange so in the first row it has one space in the second row it has two spaces so it starts with zero goes up to i let me just bring it down so this is a loop here we need a for loop it starts these are the spaces so it starts with zero goes up to equal to i and what it is does it just prints out spaces but not with ln so those spaces have been taken care of we'll start from zero goes up to equal to i next we need to print these stars now how do these stars get printed you see it starts from i equals to zero it goes up to 0 1 2 3 less than 4 it starts with i equals to 1 1 2 3 less than equal to 4 so it's always starting with i and going less than 4 or less than equal to 3 however you want to create your loop so we create another loop j equals to i it starts from i goes less than equal to 4 and every time what it does is prints the stars so the stars has been taken care of now what we need to take care of are these stars 
so here we see that actually it's kind of similar it starts from i equals to 0 goes less than or equal to 3 in the first row it starts from i equals to 1 goes less than 3 then it starts from i equals to 2 goes less than 3 so just come here and program it so 4 we again create a loop j equals to starting with i goes less than 3 and what does it does it just prints out stars after all these loops are over what we need to do is we need to change the line and that's it save all and run the pyramid and here it is we have completed our program well thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe for any queries please do comment in the comment section below